Welcome to a new video from Circuit Coder. In this video, I will show you how to make a memory game. Now, I will show you the program. Okay, so how the memory game works. Okay, so it will tell you the pattern, you will hear a sound, and then you have to repeat it. Okay, then you repeat what, what the pattern that appeared. Okay, so you keep repeating this. Okay, so then it will say next level, and then it will repeat the pattern again. Okay, so it's really easy to play, but only while well, you can remember well the pattern. Because see what happens if I put it wrong. I'm going to make it wrong on purpose. Okay, so it detects if you did wrong the pattern, and then it will tell you your score. See? So, now I'm going to show you my device. Okay, so now here I am on my device's screen. Okay, so here I have all the code of the memory game. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it here so that you can pause the video and code it, or so that you can take a screenshot of it to code it later. After this, I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to code it. Okay, so here. Okay, now, we will need one list and two variables, okay, the variables we're going to use are item and score, okay, the other variable is pattern, okay, so, the score will be so that you can, well, pretty obviously, <laughs> make the score of your game, okay, pattern will generate the pattern, and you will keep adding all the patterns. For example, uh, left, right, left, right, okay? And we will use numbers on that list, okay? One to four. Okay, so what does this stack do? Okay, so it will set your score to zero, it will reset your score, and it will delete all of pattern. Okay, so this will just do a forever loop. It will add pick random one to four, okay? This means that it will pick a random number from one to four, and that it will add it to the pattern list. For example, it will be, I don't know, 1, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, and it will keep adding to a list, okay? And then it will pay, play the pattern, okay? Uh, it will play the pattern, I don't know, left, right, left, right. Then it will make a sound of ping, you know, I already showed you, and then it will repeat the pattern, okay? So that you can, I mean, on repeat pattern, it's so that you repeat it. Then it will make the, so ch the success chime, and it will make the right animation, I mean the little arrow animation, and it will change your score by one. Okay, so I'm going to show everything in order. I'm going to start by showing you what the play pattern block does. Okay, so what this play pattern does is that it will set item to one, which is the other variable we're going to use, and this will start scanning, say the list, and it will play all the numbers one by one. So what this will do is that it will repeat on the length of the pattern. It will start playing from left to right. Okay. So for example, here it's going to broadcast the item item okay a farm i mean this means the okay 
It will broadcast a, a signal. And you probably already know what that works, the broadcast and receive. Okay, and then the it will broadcast from the item. For example, if it's item one, um, then it will broadcast item one, okay? So it will start changing the item that it will play, okay? So for example, if the item one of pattern is say two, then it will broadcast two, or it will keep like that, okay? So we'll hear it till that one, will be if it gets one or three it will count as left see here's the tree stack these two ones are left and left see so what this will do is that it will turn the well you know the square on the top left and it will play a beep uh, which is on the 67 tone for 0 0.5 seconds you can change this however you want if you want to make easier or harder the game so that it plays the sound for longer or for a shorter time okay so this is one and three they will have to be the same stack okay so now here is the two and four stack what this will do is that it will turn on the top no the bottom right square and it will play the beep on the 72 tone okay for 0 0.5 seconds and then it will wait a bit and then it will turn off the pixels again okay so that is pretty all the play part then it will make the pink and then it will repeat the pattern now here's the define repeat pattern so this part is very confusing so I'm going to show it very slowly, okay? Now, here it will check if the left button is pressed or the right button, okay? So, okay, so it will wait until this happens. Then, if the left button is pressed, remember our item variable? Well, we're going to use it, okay? So, if the item equals one or three, then it will be correct because it was the left one and if you press the left one then it's correct okay so you did the correct burn for example if you do if the burn is left left right and you're on the second right and then you click left and then left and you're on the second left and it's right then it will play the same beep and it will wait a few seconds it will wait until you release the button and then it will stop the sounds and it will complete the loop okay the else loop now if it's not correct for example if you were on the third sequence that i already mentioned for example left left right and when it was the right to press left it will turn on this x because if you were wrong and it will play the error sound and then it will write your score okay for example let's say you are three like in this example and then your hub will forever write three okay now if you got it wrong on the left and you write three for example if it's not left obviously it's right okay so if the item is right two or four which means right button then it will turn on the left button the top left square and it will play the correct beep it will wait until the left until both buttons are released it will stop all sounds and it will continue with the pattern playing or just the same if it's wrong it will turn on the x it will play the rear sound and it will forever write your score okay so since it will forever write your score it will never complete the loop okay so they won't be able to keep playing you'll have to stop the program and click the play button again okay and and once it completes the cycle i mean once you are correct if it's that you're correct it will change the item by one and then it will keep checking the list like this okay so really it's not very complicated not much the same but really it is amazing
Okay, so I hope you liked the video. So please subscribe and like this video. And if you want to receive a notification on your mobile device when I publish a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the little bell. And, uh, and YouTube will tell you when I share a new video.